This is Mark from Team How To, and we're teaching the masses how to. Hey guys, it's Mark from Team How To, and today I'm going to be demonstrating a step by step how to edit your YouTube or any other videos for that matter using a 100% free video editing software, and that software is called Shotcut, S H O T C U T. Now, this Shotcut, let me show you real quick here. This is a awesome, amazing free program that has everything you're going to need to compile your videos and make them look professional without a single cost at all, without any watermark, with nothing, no hidden software, nothing nothing wacky. This stuff is awesome. I'm going to put a link to the software below in the description so you can get it. You can see it right here. It's a short, it's at shotcut.org. Not shortcut, but shotcut.org. All you're going to need to get started is uh, pre-recorded videos which you can do with you know your cell phone or any video capturing screen capturing software that's on your PC if you don't have a quality screen capture software I'm gonna suggest that you try the OBS studios that's right here it's called open broadcaster software um, it's also called OBS studio that's the short video version and that again is another 100% free utility it works amazing it's what I'm using right now to record this I use it exclusively Maybe down the road I'll find that I need something a little more elaborate, but I, for the life of me I can't see why. This thing works amazing. Anyway, I'm going to put a link to that as well down below. Uh, the one last bit of software that I use when I'm creating my YouTube videos is the mouse tracking software, like the one you kind of see here. You see my blue circle. That's the mouse tracking software. And you'd also see if I, if I click on the keyboard, you can see there's K, J. I'm just clicking letters just to show you. So there you go, and it's going to do that, and it'll make a click sound if I need it to. But um, I will also put a link to that in the in the uh, description as well. That one's called Swordsoft uh, Mouse Track. There you go. It's right there, and this kind of goes into what it does. It shows everything. I'm gonna have a video to that linked up in the right corner, and it'll show you exactly how to use that and stuff. They have a free version, but the one I'm using, I paid a giant two dollars ninety nine cents for, and it's worth a hundred times that price to me. It works amazing. I love it. And that's all we're going to need to get this thing going. So let me get right into this. Now what I've done is I've launched Shotcut. And this is the way it would look when you first come in, minus all of my recent projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Team How To template. And once you've created it and you just file save, then that's how it's going to be. Now I've deleted out a few things so I can show you from, from scratch how you get started. When you first get in, uh, come up here. My suggestion, if you want to follow along the way I'm doing it, this is how I like to do it. Go up to the View and you want to put playlist in and it's going to bring this up and I'll show you what you use that for and we'll hit view again and we'll do the filters because you're going to need you might want filters um, and then we'll view and I'll put export these are the ones I use the most and this is where we're going to go when we're ready to export the file we're all finished with it I usually start here on playlist and we have the video and audio track already in here these would not normally be here so let me get rid of that we'll remove that track like I said before we've already got our video files here we got them here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag them in now these I just did a quick video just to throw something together so I could show you how to do it now what I like to do when I'm done this is this is the output from my OBS studios and it puts them by time stamp is how I have them exporting and I also have my intros and stuff that I use on my videos in this folder so I can show you how it all goes in so all you have to do, what I like to do first is rename these one, two, three, four, five. And what you can do is if you highlight the first one, hit F2, and I can do one, hit the tab key, two, hit the tab key, three. There you go. I have a whole video that shows how to get into uh, multiple renaming and quickly renaming and all kinds of awesome stuff. I'll put a link up in the top right corner here to that video. It's very useful for renaming fast and efficiently. But what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all so we got six of these videos. We're going to drag them in. Oh, one's actually an audio. And there we go. We have those. I'm going to get that out of our way. So this is that's how quick it is to load everything up. I'm going to suggest that throughout the time while you're using it, you hit the save button because I don't think it has an auto save. And if it does, I haven't found it. Uh, but you don't want to get too far in and find out you don't have a video left. So to get started, all we need to do is start dragging tracks down here into our timeline. This is, shows as V1. If this V1 wasn't here, that's video one. Even if I dragged my first one in, it would show up. I have some presets in here, and that's why I want to leave that there. But So I'll pull my intro down. This is my Team How To intro, and I just drop it right in the timeline. And you can see it sits here. And if you go play through it, let me turn. 
and you can see if I go play through this, it's just going to say, I can start where I want, it'll be, see it kind of gives you a good, there you go, kind of shows what's going on. So I like to do that, and then I want to put below that, I have an audio track that I personally just did, I dubbed it in advance, you can see it's called short intro, and all I do then is I'll put, you just hit this hamburger, that's what some people call it, and hit add audio track. Now I've got an audio track and it's down below here. Now I just take the the audio MP3, the short one, and I drop it right below. And what I'm going to do is move this over. You can see you can just kind of slide it. I'm left clicking and sliding it where I want it to go. And I just know this audio well enough to know that I want it to start playing somewhere through there. So This is Mark from Team How To, and we're teaching the masses how to. There you go. And see, that gives my my team how to intro enough time to go and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off here so I, just, I line this up with this so it's perfect and I come in here and I can hit this tool and it splits the head and so it gives it in two parts here oh I'm sorry I did that on the bottom <laughs> see I had that on the on the audio part we want that on the video part so we hit the split you can see it makes two pieces out of it I do can do this and then I can hit the delete key or even better hit the X now what happens when I hit the X is it deletes everything that I highlighted plus it drags everything over and I'm going to show you what I meant by that in just a second. And I just want to mention at this point if you're using this software to make YouTube videos I'm going to suggest that you get a professional looking intro. If you want a great video creation tool you can use the one I used for this video um, and I will put the link down there in the bottom again uh, as well as I will put a, a link uh, up here at the top right to show uh, the video that goes into how uh, how exactly to use that one as well and which one I use it's called Flix Press and it's an awesome free creation it's the one I used like I said for this but so now I've got my intro in place I want to put my first video so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab left click and drag it down and I'm gonna put as close to this line as I can without going over that way it's it's already butted up against you can see it took just a second to load that um, now what you can see down here, you can see my audio output, and if I click this button here, it will mute that. So if I wanted to play through without audio for some reason, that would be how I could do that. I can see where my audio starts playing here, because I generally will put a little bit of silence in advance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this black timeline, and I know I'm going to want to cut that out. So I'm going to hit this. Now that I'm on this track, I'm going to hit the S key, or this button right here. I'm just going to do S. And you can see that split that too. Now I'm going to grab this. I'm going to left click it. And then I'm going to hit the X key. There you go. And now what that should have done was drag that everything that I cut out and then just drag the rest of the to the left. So let's listen real quick and see where we are on this. The masses how to. Hey guys, it's Mark from Team How To. Today I wanted to make a quick video to show how to fix a common problem that you might see when you hook an external mic to your laptop. All right, so there we go. Now, I know for a fact that the rest of this audio was pretty good. I'm not too worried about it. Um, we get all the way over here, and you can see where this one ends. Now, this is this is number two. And so what I did was, sometimes I'll do it in a single take, but if I don't do it in a single take, which I went ahead and threw a couple extra ones in just to have something to kind of show you. If I had if I'd used the word um a lot or something, I'd cut those out. I try not to do that anymore, but I do it occasionally. So let's just say I'm going to take the second one and drop it here at the end. Like I said, as close as I can to this, that way it'll connect. There you go. So this one's connected. Once again, uh, you can kind of see how I've got a little bit of dead space in here at the beginning. I like to, like I said, that's the way I like to do it, just so I can kind of get things ready. I'm going to hit the S key to get rid of the dead space. I'm going to click that one. I'm going to hit the X key to kick cut it. Now you can see that that butts right up against it. I could do all this so quick if I wasn't walking through this. And I probably have some dead space there I could get rid of, so let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit the S key. I'm going to come in again and hit the X for X-ray key. There you go. So now those are together. Let's hear the very end of this and how it moves together. Okay, well that's all there was to it. Hope it helps some people. It helped me. Yeah, have a good day. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe for me. Keeps me keeps me motivated. So there you go, and I just threw that in there to have something to play. Now let me show you real quick and how you can do a uh, a transition. If you click on the left one, and then like down click, hold and drag to the left, 
I clicked on the right one and dragged to the left, you can see it makes this a little bit of a transition. Now the farther I go into it, the, the more of a transition it is, but you can take a quick look and you can see how it kind of melts together. Not real noticeable there because they're almost identical, but regardless, I'll show you on this next one. It'll be very obvious. Now I threw this next one in just because I wanted to show you kind of how to fix a little bit of the, the video the video audio if you stumble around and and you say um a lot. When I started out I did a lot of that and I'm getting better. So let's see. Let's I'm gonna hit the S key there, <laughs> which was I used the button, but I'll click on that and we'll hit X and that way I know this is here. Now like I said before well, let's go ahead and listen to it. Now, I, I just did some random ums and stuff. Oh, right. I just wanted to shoot one more short clip with me saying things like, um, just in case I want to remove some things like, um, and... Okay, so now you can see down here in the video where the ums are. And if you listen again, I'll, I'll do this a little slower. Right here is where I saw the um come in. Listen. Um, just in... So this is what it's going to sound like when once I cut that out. And if I hit Control and scroll my mouse button... I can zoom this in, or I can come up here and hit the zoom key. So either way, you may need to do that to do that, to be able to see it. But now you can see from here to here is that um. So I hit the S key. Beautiful. And I'll come to here. And just to avoid that S jumping up, I'm going to hit it up here. This is the same thing. There we go. Now I click into that. I hit the X for X-ray key. And now watch that. Oh, um, just disappears almost seamlessly. Things like, just in case I want to remove some things like, um, in the way So, obviously, my speech pattern would have been better if I wasn't trying to purposely do this. So I'm hitting the S, I go on the other side of the um, and I do the S again. Beautiful. Now I click the piece I want to delete, and I hit the X for X-ray, and it slides it over. Remember, if you hit delete, it's going to leave a hole there. And that's no fun because then you got to go drag a bunch of them over. So now listen through here where it said um. When I remove some things like and that way it will um, sound better. Okay, so now finally the last thing I want to do is I want to drag this all the way over to the right. And I want to drop my outro on there. And so I just grab the outro. I drop it in here after I've cleaned up as much as I want to. Again, I was just kind of randomly throwing some crap in there to cut out. But you can see this. Um, this one has this look to it, and you remember that from the intro. Well, what I can do is I drag this to the left. Remember, they have to be butting up to each other. If they're not butting up to each other, then they won't work that way. So when we hit this, you'll see how this dissolves out and the, the team How To dissolves into play. It's real nice. There we go. This looks seamless. So there we go. That's that. That's how we actually go in and we hit our edits and everything. Now I want to show you a few little awesome little perks that comes along with this program. Now there's a lot of different things you can do with the transitions. For instance, if I was to put a transition here, so I, I, I left clicked on this one and I dragged it in, I have that option. Now if I click on, on this one here and I come up to properties, it's going to show you exactly the type of transition it is. This video happens to be a dissolve. I can do a bar horizontal there's all these different ones um i'll just give you one example it'll be it'll be really obvious so if i do this one and i hit play you can see hey guys, it's Mark there you go too. so there you go that's uh that's the version of the circle i uh iris circle sorry and then uh the barn door vertical I'll just, this is the last one i'm gonna show you just to get you a, a feel for what it's like and give you a, a flavor so there you go and you can slow that down you can make it softer um, all those things to make it to do exactly how the way you want it to look so that's what you can do with the transitions that's really nice but let me show you something really important and that's the filters there's a lot that can be done with filters and a lot of people don't even realize this what I've done and what I suggest doing is coming in here and clicking on your your video one here and you can see I've already got filters in here and what I've put in here is the compressor and a normalize. And what that's going to do, the compressor, is going to take all your low points and your high points and sort of make them an average. So if I have my intro video that's really high powered and it's, you know, a lot of high, high sounds, and then it goes straight into a really lower tone voice, and that's not good. So what happens is this will take and tone down the highs and it'll beef up the lows and so if you have more lulls and and softer sounds it'll beef those up without actually taking away from the highs 
And so what I've done is I've just left this on the defaults, and that's fine. But let me show you how to get to those. What you would do is hit this plus button. The ones I put on there are audio. And so I went in here and I put on the compressor. This is the one I suggest you use, and I showed you what that one was. And then I did the one pass normalize. And normalize does a lot of that same stuff as well. You can use um, color balances. You can use a bass and treble boost. You can put a delay. Uh, basically, lots and lots of awesome things. Uh, there's the fade in, fade out. That's another one. It's it's not any better or worse than the other transition that I've shown you. There's some reverb if you wanted to, you know, have a, a reverberation. Uh, but those are the ones I like. Uh, the video. This one's got some awesome. Uh, there's flip. This would allow you to flip it over. Uh, so if it was facing left, and then everybody in the picture would be facing right. It's really nice. This You can deal with the, the hue and the saturation if you don't like the colors. All of these awesome, amazing things. I'll do a video that goes into these a lot deeper. Right now, I am uh, just wanting to give you a feel for it. But you could find so many things in here. This is where you'd go in and you would slow the video down. I believe it's called, uh, is it speed? or I don't even remember what that one's called. And so there's a lot of other things, like uh, if you want to throw a, an old film look on it, this will throw some, some uh, flickers into the screen and different things like that. Just a lot of amazing, wacky stuff. I'm going to disconnect that one because I don't need that for this. But uh, let's see, that's, I think that's everything I wanted to show to get a basic video output. Um, the last thing, of course, is we hit the export button. If you're using this on YouTube, you can use these presets. If you have something else you want to use it for, uh, this particular one will work great here. We just come in, click the YouTube, hit the export. Remember, we started with this export, and this, this is the actual export. And so this one will be called, let's just name this, How to Create with Shotcut. Shotcut. Perfect. And I'll hit Save. Now you'll notice it's a fairly quick process. It's at two, three, four percent, whatever it is right now. So what's it say? It's going to take another two and a half minutes. So there you go. I'm not going to make you watch that. If you found this useful, I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe. This keeps us motivated to keep putting out more content. Without that, we just kind of figured nobody's watching and what's the point? Have a good day. Hey, did you remember to subscribe?